In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best OBS settings for recording using an Apple computer, specifically using the M chip computer, so M1, M2, M3. I don't know if they have M3. Anyways, I'm using the M4. So M4 is the most recent, depending on when you're watching this video. So let's not take much time, let's get into it. So basically I have OBS open right now and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to settings and the first thing of course, you don't need to go to stream because we're not streaming, we're just recording. So we're gonna go to output. This is where we're gonna be doing most of the stuff and you wanna make sure you go to output mode. The first time you open OBS, it's gonna be set to output mode simple. So you wanna make sure you change that to advanced. Once you do that, you wanna make sure you go to recording and then the first thing you need to do, you, you want to actually choose the recording path. Now, some of the problems you're going to have with this newer Mac computer is it's going to be storage. So my advice is to buy an external drive. I have some that I recommend that I even use myself that I'm going to link down below. So get an external SSD and that should be where you should be saving your files or your video recordings. Because if you try to save on the internal SSD, it may get full in like a few months or a few weeks, depending on how heavy your files are, all right? So make sure you get an external drive. And then once you do that, you wanna make sure you go to browse under recording path, and then you can go to your external drive. So mine is called Extreme SSD. That's the one, and you can actually choose any folder that you want. You can create a new folder and basically save it there. So for me, I'm just gonna choose that and then hit open. And then basically all my recordings are going to be saved under the SSD, which is external. Now for the recording format, you want to make sure you go ahead and actually choose what we call fragmented MP4. Now you have fragmented MOV. That one may work as well if you want to work with MOV or depending on the software that you're working with. If you're working with Final Cut Pro, maybe MOV may be better, but in general, mp4 will work either you're working with software like final cut pro or davinci resolve or i mean mp4 seems to be really really good for anything all right so go ahead and check mp4 plus they have a smaller file and then the reason why you choose fragmented is if in case obs crashes or something happens you lose power you're gonna be able to get your file up until where you were the time the incident happened but if you were to choose just mp4 if something happens, then you will lose your recording, all right? So you wanna make sure you choose fragmented MP4. Next, for video encoder, you wanna make sure you go ahead and choose Apple VTH264 hardware encoder, all right? Important, make sure you choose hardware encoder. And then audio encoder, you can leave it at core audio AAC. And then rescale output, you can leave it the way it is. Everything else here, guys, you can just leave it the way it is. And then go down here where it says rate control. So you wanna make sure you choose CBR. And then for beat rate, you wanna make sure you choose anywhere between, let's say above 10,000, okay? You should say 10,000 should be your minimum, okay? Minimum 10,000. If you do like something like 16,000 or 20,000, it's gonna be even better, but your files are going to be bigger. So depending on how long your recordings are going to be, if you're doing like long recordings, like podcasts and things like that, you can set up to 10,000 to, save space but if you're doing like short recordings like short videos 10 minutes 20 minutes 15 minutes you can do something like 16,000 kbps and that should be okay everything else leave it the way it is like keyframe interval you can leave it at two profile you can leave it at high no problem and audio go to track one because we're using track one and you can actually go somewhere maybe you can even use the max which is 320 that's gonna give you like the highest audio quality that you can get but even if you do like something like 256 it should be good no problem all right the next thing you want to do you want to go make sure you go to video under video and then go to canvas resolution make sure it's set to 1920 by 1080 and then for output resolution you want to make sure it's actually set at the same thing which is 1920 by 1080 and that's pretty much it once you're done just click ok of course you want to make sure you have all your scenes and everything kind of already set you can go ahead and hit start recording however these settings are just for recording if you want to be able to actually go live stream to youtube or facebook or any other platform you need separate settings specifically for live streaming and to be able to get those you want to make sure you check this video right here 
where I'm gonna show you step by step on how to set up your Mac M chip based computer to live stream either to YouTube or Facebook. So check out this video right here and I'll see you there guys. Take care.